Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Season 5, Episode 1, Thoughts. This episode is called Orientation Part 1. Another episode I love. Spoilers for everything MCU leading up to and including this episode, but not for anything that came out after this episode first premiered. The show is rated TV 14, so will this video be? Let's dive right in. So, yeah, we open on... I appreciate that if, at first it does look like, oh, this is just a, a human being preparing... Oh, right, and uh, and before we even see him, we see these, like, kids' drawings, like, you know, fridge drawings or something. But, but yeah, you know, he's, he's like, preparing, and then, you know, off comes the, the regular suit, and then off comes the human suit. <laughs> Let's see. And... Um... Right, um... Great. <laughs> I like, you know, Mac comes back and just like immediately he, he slugs the guy and he's like, come on, he was looking pretty threatening. He's got this weird gun. Let's see. And. Um, yeah, and, and the. Um, yeah. Uh, um, Gemma, you know, points out the, 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 you know, I was thinking, you know, I needed a gas mask because they, you know, maybe they don't, they, they died because of, you know, air, but, you know, apparently not, and, yeah, you know, they've been drained. Very, very cool, creepy concept. <laughs> We're in space. <laughs> not again. I aspire to one day be able to respond like that to being told that I'm in space. And let's see. yeah, yeah, the you know what what part of space? Outer. And yeah, May comes to and as usual has to deal with something very intense. She's you know, her, her leg was partially impaled. And, yeah, they, they get some really good, really unpleasant tension stuff out of her removing the... Let's see. And, <laughs> yeah, I like that, you know, they're talking about Coulson's hand. And, I mean, I guess it was probably written that way so that he wouldn't be too powerful against the aliens in in this new circumstance you know yeah it does make sense you know he he brought the civilian hand so that he wouldn't be in prison without you know with with only one hand since they take the other one and i like with you know one of them is like so you don't have the the laser and the Okay, first of all, I'm not Inspector Gadget. And let's see. The, then we have the yeah, the you know, Elena suggests, you know, I th I thought you had bases on the moon. Don't you have a you know, space space shield like spear or something which I see what you did there. Very nice. And let's see. Um, yeah, I, I, I really, you know, ah, oh, it's it's so good to meet you. <laughs> and they're like, who are you? And it's it's so creepy to meet someone who's like, you know, they know everything about you, and you, you know, don't know anything at all about them and and I love that you know this you're gonna get this so much better once I show you and then he dies so it's you know I can imagine in one of the upcoming episodes we're gonna realize what it was he intended to show but yeah it's it's quite good the yeah not yeah and and very cool you know they're being chased by the the 
I think they call them roaches, you know, and it's dodging Elena's blasts like nothing, you know. Getting closer, she's run out of, of charges for the gun, and it blows up, and Daisy's standing there with her hand, you know, weirdo. And, you know, the, the, if there's like a, a, a beat, and she's like, right? <laughs> because at the end of the day, like, uh, this looks pretty definitive, but uh, are we sure? Because it is, it's a very weird situation to find suddenly find yourself in. It's like, you know, just just want to make absolutely sure that they didn't just screw uh, screw us over by by blowing up the alien that was trying to attack. And <laughs> I like that. Yeah, one of them. I, I think it's Elena suggests. What if we're still in the framework? And and the others are like, oh, don't even honestly. Oh, my, my, I can't even handle thinking about that right now. <laughs> and I, I like that Mac is like, come on, we gotta stick together. Have you ever watched an alien movie? And, and the, you know, they're, they're walking down the, the hallway, you know, and, and Daisy's ready to, to attack. And I think it's Colson who says, we've never looked cooler. <laughs> and... Yeah, I, so there's the the you know conflict between Gemma and and Mac because he says you know oh this must be magic and I do also appreciate they they're them bringing up you know is this Ghost Rider because this is some pretty wild you know this is yeah so so far out there. And, and yeah, you know, once Gemma, you know, solves something, she says, I solved it using magic and shoots him a dirty look. And he's like, oh. and let's see. Yeah, I, th I think, you know, there, there's the, the question, you know, what are you going to do with us? Whatever we want, whatever we need. How do you think Papa Smurf feels about Spanish? <laughs> and. Yeah, uh, Deke shows up, and you know, I've you know, just go with it, and it's it's quite good because yeah, like on the one hand, it does seem like he's trying to help them. On the other, like the the yeah, can they trust him, Harvey Dent? And let's see. Yeah, they, they, you know, the, may, maybe you could spare them. It's striking them. And and yeah, they talk about you know this isn't an outpost. It's you know it's for invasion. But we later learn you know no, it's they they did already destroy Earth, or Earth was destroyed. I suppose we don't know for sure if it was Kree yet. I feel confident we're gonna learn in a later episode and yeah Mac is free for like two seconds and he's got an axe in his hand not a shotgun but nevertheless and yeah the you know I don't know I, I suppose it's possible I was the only one but when Deke is like you know the the you know when were you taken? What year? Like that really reminded me of of Kyle Reese in the original Terminator. Beautiful. And and yeah, you know, they're they weren't moved through space, they were moved through time. And Earth is you know, what what's left of Earth is is right in front of, you know. Very, very cool, very tense. Um, yeah. I I can hardly wait to see more. I'm really glad I'm gonna watch the next episode tomorrow because yeah, um, let's see, yeah, so some IMDb trivia, um, yeah, someone else pointed out that there is, in fact, yeah, the, the spear thing is a reference, oh, huh. Jeff Ward, who ended up playing Deke, was originally cast as Virgil, he made such an impression on cast and crew during the table read, they decided to have him play Deke instead, since he survives the episode. Virgil refers to himself as a true believer. Stanley would address Marvel comic fans as true believers. 
Oh, right, yeah. Yo-Yo makes reference to S.H.I.E.L.D. having people on the moon, and humans took place on the moon. And... Wow. Throughout the episode, there are various musical stings lifted from the first alien. And... Let's see... Um. Oh, oh, right. The the um, yeah. First lines of dialogue in this season, the opener are haven't done one of these in a while. We're in the middle of the season, and yeah, it's because it's it's past the usual opening to accommodate the brief run of Inhumans, right? Yeah, I wasn't the biggest fan of that misogynistic joke about, ugh, my wife, she's so clueless, she doesn't even pay attention to sports. Although I suppose it could be read as as us laughing at a, a douche who doesn't even think about, like, if she's not into sports, why would she care when the, the season is? Like, I, I could not for the life of me, like, you, gun to my head, I have no idea if there's... You know where this is in in season like, and on they actually on some of the stuff I watch out here on YouTube they do sometimes bring up you know sports stuff but for me it's in one ear and out the other because I do not care. And oh the sign the design Enoch decides on for his truck is Bendiri English Ale fictional beer brand introduced in season two. And huh, the episode was nominated for Visual Effects Society Award for Outstanding Supporting Visual Effects in a Photoreal Episode. Yeah, the effects were absolutely amazing here. Oh, huh, the injury at the beginning of, to Agent May's leg and the resultant limp. Uh, yeah, was deliberately written to cover a real life limp that Ming Awen still had after knee surgery between seasons. Very clever. And yeah, the we here see the Kree, an alien race that previously appeared in the first three seasons, and in Guardians of the Galaxy. That you know, Deke in in the the yeah, he gave me very strong Mister Lord. I'm sorry, Star Lord. Uh, you know, vibes with the the mask helmet thing and the the jacket. The opening title doesn't appear until 10 minutes in, and it appears in space rather than the usual logo. And... Hmm. Uh, so, yeah. The, the goof section notes that, you know, when Deke asks Coulson where he's from, Coulson replies, Manitowoc, Wisconsin. Someone born there, a native to most of Wisconsin, would pronounce it Mantwok. Yeah, that is, you know, if if he really is supposed to be from there, he should get that right. It's it's one of those difficult things writers have to know. Or I suppose it's possible it's director or actor, but you know, having to know all this stuff. And let's see. Right, I like that. Here we go. Wow, it looks like he's from Earth. Or he ate someone from Earth. And let's see. Are you high on something? Can I have some? Yeah, because you know, once Earth was destroyed, it doesn't really make sense to to say, "Oh, I'm from Wisconsin." It's possible Wisconsin isn't even there anymore. Let's see. And I think that might be yeah, and and the yeah. So you know, Max says you know we have to stick together. Mac, it's the best way to cover the most ground. Okay, you see, you see, that's exactly what they say before they get picked off one by one. And you know who the first one will be. And. Yeah, you know, Mac 
trying, you know, he said, we get through this, I am packing it in. It does make a lot of sense. <laughs> you already quit years ago. Oh, I didn't quit hard enough. And yes, I will be doing an episode again tomorrow. I don't have many details yet, but I do know we're in space. Yeah, that makes sense. One thing we haven't done yet. <laughs>